Uh, yes, and I'll, I have no financial interest in the uh, gaming sweepstake parlor industry in this city. Uh, yeah, it you know it's important um, to in this case to follow the letter of the law and the you know spirit of the law. I think when you're voting on something or speaking on an issue before the council where you have a close personal uh, connection or and can uh, financial gain or your business partners can, I do think it's important that you disclose that and recuse yourself from the conversation, uh, from the debate, and from the vote. Um, I, that's a basic principle that operates, I think, at uh, most level of government with, with elected officials. And, um, and I'll just say that uh, um, I, I do agree with the premise of this uh, questioner that th this is, uh, in my way of saying it, this is not the face of the city that we, that we want, I think. Uh, it's not the kind of economic development and business that uh, certainly that I want to recruit here. Um, we certainly need um, uh, jobs at all levels, um, um, uh, all skill levels, uh, but I don't think this is the, certainly the face of the city that we want, and other cities around the state um, are, have taken uh, various levels of action against these, uh, these kinds of businesses, thank you. Uh, I don't have any interest in any kind of special interest or in anything at all, and I, I do know that you need to recuse yourself anytime something comes up. It could be something as simple as uh, my Qantas club could ask the city for something. If I was sitting on, on, uh, on the council, I would just say that I would not participate just because it was something I had a direct interest in. You know, so that's uh, just respect and common sense to me. But I do not have, um, certainly do not have any interest, uh, financial interest in a sweepstakes. Uh, parlor of any kind. I, I wanted to say something about the uh, earlier question about economic development. Uh, a statement was made that the city has never had economic development or proactive. We have. Uh, there have been, matter of fact, I visited several restaurants. One was Scullery. This, this, this. Scullery. <laughs> and another one is that on Fifth Street, uh, the Gold Post. And they all were, uh, they created jobs and they were uh, part of economic development, creating small businesses. Uh, that was a proactive effort uh, by the previous city council to the existing one. So we have had that and, and the city's been moving forward the whole time I've been here for 30 years. It's always gone up and there's been a lot of new things in the city. It's never been dormant or passive or anything like that. Oh. Thank you, Tom, for bringing that point. I did forget, as a member of the Redevelopment Commission and this chair, that we crafted that program to send to the city council to help create those jobs. Um, so I was an active participant of that, although I wasn't on the previous council that made that happen. Yeah, so that's prior to, but I, I did help do that. Um, the question was about um, sweepstakes ownership. No, I don't have a financial interest, and I think this is another thing that the public should be aware of. When anytime you have a conflict, on anything in the city council, you can't just simply recruit, recuse yourself. We have state laws. You have to go to the city attorney, you disclose what the issue is, and he lets you know do you have the right to recruit, re, I can't say the word, recuse yourself. You, can't, you just simply can't do it because you want to. You have to have a reason. The state law says that every member of council has to cast a vote if they're present at a, at a meeting. If you don't cast a vote, it's considered a yes vote. So the city attorney has to they'll make you aware that you have legally the bounds to recuse yourself. So that's the way the process works. Someone just can't simply say, I don't want to vote because I believe I have an interest. The city attorney has to approve you and the council has to vote to let you have that, that happen. Sweepstakes and gambling, well, this is real interesting. I've never actually even bought a lottery ticket. I gambled with a nickel once and that's it. So no, I don't have any interest in sweepstakes or gambling industry uh, here in our community. And I also was one of the folks that wanted us to try to have the maximum uh, restrictions on these businesses and that did not uh, it failed to, to have the support of a majority vote of council but I, it's something that I've been very interested in because these are gambling businesses and they operate really on the margins if not outside of the law and they prey on the poor people go in hoping to hit it big and these are this is they make a lot of money and they make it off of very vulnerable people 
Um, and, and I would advocate for the maximum restrictions on them. But now that they're illegal, we're going to see what will happen if they'll be, uh, if, if, what, where our enforcement is going to be moving forward. I have talked with our chief, um, police chief, about this, and um, he is aware of the law and he's learning about the nuances of the law so we can understand how we can be as fully engaged as possible in terms of whatever, restrict, whatever restrictive ability we have. We will be using that. We don't want to do things we can't do, but we need to get informed what we can do, especially since we have a new law now. Thank you.